Hey guys, Mike here. Welcome back to my channel, Modern Man TV, for another product review and part four of my 3K giveaway. Today's video is gonna be a little different. I was planning to do a full revisit of the Mr. Pompadour line to include two of their products that originally when I reviewed their line weren't made available to me, which was their texturizing powder and their styling clay. However, when I got into this review and started putting everything together, some things started to come to my attention and it quickly became apparent to me that this wasn't going to be just a regular product review. Little backstory for you. I first came into contact with Mr. Pompadour in one of my videos in April of 2015. During that time, I reviewed their natural beeswax paste, their Moroccan texture paste, and then later their shampoo and conditioner. Now stop. Let's fast forward to November 2015. In November of 2015, I uploaded a video for Pete and Pedro reviewing the paste from their product line. After that video went live, I had the distinct pleasure of emailing and talking very briefly with Aaron Marino, or Alpha M, and after that video was made, he ended up sending me his entire line just as a gift. Now why does all this matter? Well, I'm about to tell you. When I got the rest of the Pete and Pedro line, I, I ended up trying the rest of their products. I didn't actually end up making a video but I did take special note of the clay from the Pete and Pedro line because of how creamy it was and how it was just unlike any of the other clays at that point in time that I had tried. Let's fast forward to the present. Last month, Mr. Pompadour sent me their full line to revisit the brand, this time including the clay and the texturizing powder along with the rest of the products, again, in a full kit. Knowing that last time I reviewed the brand, I hadn't tried their clay. Needless to say, that was one of the first ones that I wanted to try. So when I grabbed it out of the box and immediately ran upstairs to try it, I immediately noticed something interesting. It was easy to scoop out, very creamy, easy to go through the hair, and then something just... I've tried this same clay before. I quickly grabbed up my jar of Pete and Pedro clay and the first thing I did was compare the two side by side. I noticed immediately that they were almost identical in texture, consistency, color, fragrance, everything. So then I turned to the ingredients and sure enough, the ingredients were the exact same. Now, talking to myself, I, I just thought, okay, coincidence. Two brands having one similar product, it's gotta be just a coincidence, right? But then I started to look at the other products and it became even more interesting. All of these products in both lines matched up in both ingredients, texture, consistency, and fragrance. The only exception to this was the peppermint pomade. Pete and Pedro's pomade lists more ingredients than Mr. Pompadour's. However, it's my opinion that they're still pretty much the same. They both smell like peppermint, they both act the same way in your hair, and the only visible difference is Pete and Pedro's is a little bit more shiny. Let's talk about the shampoos now. So Mr. Pompadour has that peppermint shower experience and it has been and still is one of my favorite shampoo and conditioners to use. So don't get me wrong on that. I have also used the Pete and Pedro shampoo and conditioner, but I do not have those bottles anymore. I actually threw them away after I used them all. Unfortunately, Pete and Pedro doesn't list their ingredients of their products on their website, so I can't definitively tell you if the shampoo and conditioner are the exact same. So then I started asking around online because to me in my head, I'm going, okay, is this something that everybody knows that I just somehow missed out on? Because now I have essentially reviewed the same product in two videos without knowing it. That's when I was 
told about a third company selling some of the exact same products under a different name. And I looked into that too. The salon guy has products that appear to be the same as some of the products from the Pete and Pedro and Mr. Pompadour line. Now to be fair, I have never purchased or had any deal with the salon guy, so I can't for sure tell you from my own experience that they are in fact the same. However, when looking at the stinger paste and the talc texturizing powder, I found just based on the information on their website that the ingredients were a complete match. Now, one could argue that using the same ingredients doesn't necessarily mean that the products are the same. After all, Mr. Pompadour's jars do read manufactured exclusively for Mr. Pompadour. However, it's my opinion that these products are the same. They feel the exact same, they perform the exact same in your hair, and they smell the exact same. And I did reach out to both Mr. Pompadour and Pete and Pedro for comment on this and neither of them emailed back. Now, I am not making this video to bash them. I know all of this sounds really harsh and my real point to this video was I wanted people to know that the products are the same so that they don't end up buying a product from one company and then going and buying from the second company, wasting money when they get home because they realize they're the same. I don't want to stop you from purchasing from their websites or, or anything like that. I just simply want to bring to light the reality of the situation. So let's talk about 3K giveaway part four. Lucky Franks was kind enough to sponsor part four of the 3K giveaway, and I have three of these gift sets to give away to three lucky subscribers. The gift sets will include a tin of heavy hold mustache wax, the new product from Lucky Franks, one handmade beard comb, and one tin of their classic 1920s oil based pomade. So I'll be giving away a total of nine products to three people. Same rules as my other giveaways. You must be a subscriber, must like this video, and you must comment down below where you're watching from. You have one week to enter. Thanks again for watching this video. Take it easy, guys. I'll catch you guys next week. Yeah. <sighs>